Cruyff is deceptively quick for a half-back. Is he going to go all the way? Oh, he is! Chris Prince couldn't take him down. Um, I thought both sides were quite sloppy in attack that day. I'm just, you know, it's sort of one of the things that stood out to me, but I thought physically we were really, really good that day. And, you know, Warwick and, you know, they've got a good tough pack and they give as good as they give as good as they take, you know, they play they play it hard but they play it reasonably fair, you know. So, you know, that physical part of the game is really important and you know, if one side's on top there, you know, generally it gives you key the, the key players for that team a, a bit of an advantage, you know. So, you know, I'd, I'd imagine Warwick will be up for the money this week and, and I'll be disappointed if we aren't as well. Yeah, I think uh, you know, all players, you know, look forward to playing playing against the top sides and you know they're definitely one of the top sides if not you know the the form side of the competition um, they've got a lot of international experience there in their team and uh, they've got a big strong four pack so uh, it's, it's going to be a good challenge for us oh the physical part with the forwards you know and that that battle in the middle is going to be a real key part of the game and you know, as i said you know, you know we'll be disappointed if the giants boys aren't good and i imagine the warrington boys will be disappointed if they weren't good and you know if, if that's a reasonably even battle well then your key players are going to play, obviously, a real big part, you know, but if one of the sides physically is much better than the other, well, then their key players get a huge advantage over the other key players. So, you know, when, when Warrington beat Wigan, they clearly won the physical battle. You know, Benny Westwood and them blokes clearly won that battle and they really, really didn't give the, the Wigan halves much to play off at all. And where, you know, Breezy and Mick Monner and them blokes, you know, they had a bit of an advantage over their opposite numbers due to the, the Warrington forwards, you know. When we played Wigan out here, it was a pretty close sort of battle in the forge. I didn't think, I didn't think we won that battle or Wigan won that battle. I thought it was pretty even. You know, we didn't take a couple of chances, and Wigan's defence was a touch better. But you know, as I said, when Wigan and Warrington played, Warrington got on top and won that battle, and it just gives your key players a, a much easier look at the contest. And you know, this week, you know, you know both sides are going to be up for the money there, and you know, I'd imagine that'd be a good contest. You know, and the, the closer that contest in the middle is, I suppose probably. The, uh, the the better the game will be and the closer the game will be. Yeah, I'd like to think yeah we, you know we we could uh, definitely uh, challenge Wigan. Wigan, um, I think Warrington played them a couple of weeks ago and it, and it was a, a really good close game also. So you know, I think um, you know, we've shown that uh, you know, two good sides, but I think there's there's other sides there that'll um, you know be looking to uh, stick it to the, to the champions as well, which is Wigan. So um, you know that's how it is when you're at the top. So um, you know. It's up to them to uh, to do their best, and, and we just try and do ours. Yeah.